What's going on everybody? Welcome back to My Custom Life. My name is Trey and tonight we're going to do a real quick EDC review of, as you can guess by the title, this is the Kershaw Launch 10. I've had this knife for a little over a month now. I've been carrying it just about every single day and I've come to really enjoy it and uh, the size really hasn't been an issue for me. You know, this is a California legal uh, auto knife so the blade is 1.9 inches long. It is CPM 154 with a nice uh, stone wash finish as you can see right there stone wash finish it has nice hard anodized aluminum scales got the nice integral spine right there with a little bit of a pattern on it I like that these are the it looks great to me as certain angles I can see it looking kind of purplish but it looks great to me that's what I think it says in the box but anyway this is that uh, this is made in America made in the US it has a nice deep carry apocalypse right there as you can see but um, I really like it. I've come to like it very well. When I first got it, I had been looking at something similar to this for a while. I did a video in the past over the Boker Stubby Strike, and uh, I carried it for a while. It was I liked it at first. There was just a couple things I wasn't too fond of. You know, the handle was the handle was real ergonomic as far as you know the size could go, but it just I don't know, there's just certain things I just didn't like about it. One thing that I actually mentioned in the video was that the pivot over time of flipping the knife actually started like this one's kind of the same thing it's not doing the same thing but it's the same in the sense that it's locked in there the way it's fitted the boker stubby strike was the exact same way except the pivot was actually turning and actually starting to strip out the aluminum and because um, i mentioned in the video it's almost like they took the spring from one of the bigger strikes and put it in the smaller strike and so it's almost like it had too much power and it started actually rotating the pivot i don't know if that's just the knife that i bought or if that's a common problem i haven't really looked it up to see but nonetheless this one is super nice it's real smooth it flies out there you know the term launch is definitely not a an understatement when it comes to these knives i've I come to like the smaller ones. They fit in the pocket a lot easier, a lot lighter. And, you know, the way the handle is actually made, it fits really well. Even though it's real small, you know, you can almost get, you know, I got medium-sized hands, so I can almost get a four-finger grip on such a small knife. Um, but it does have a nice lanyard hole here if you want to put a nice piece of, you know, paracord with a bead on it or whatever to get a little bit of extra grip. I like the blade shape. That's one of the biggest things that drew me to it. I've always liked karambit style blades. But in the past, I've carried some. And one thing that I come to not really be fond of was the fact the handle had to curve so much out to house the blade. And all of them mainly had that big old ring at the bottom to put your hand in for like the fighting style. Because that's, that's mainly what a karambit's for anyway. But it was just, it took up too much room in the pocket. The way this one's designed, obviously it's a lot shorter. So that, that, that helps but the handle's straighter. So the way it has the blade is real thin, takes up way less room in the pocket, being that it's aluminum scales also makes it real light. I can't really say anything bad about it. I haven't found anything yet that I just don't like about it. I bought it because of the size, I bought it because of the blade. You know, I've this is the first Kershaw launch that I've ever owned and uh, you know, with what I found from this one, I definitely want to own a couple more. There's a couple of them I like, like the Launch 11 looks really nice. The Launch 6 or 7 was one I was looking at as well. But this one would definitely be a real good one to get into, uh, especially if you're in areas like the California laws where they have to require a sub 2 inch blade. This would definitely follow under that. There's multiple different companies that make autos that are of the same size. But I like this one in particular just because... I love the look of the handles, the way they contour, the way they're shaped, the way they fit in your hand. This nice little back, this, I don't know what you call it, swoop, whatever you want to call it, fits right into the meat of your palm right there, so it just kind of melts in. And this has like a little bit of like a thumb ramp where you can, you know, kind of get like a little bit of a pinch grip, put up there for a little more precision cuts. And the way they grind this blade, it's a flat grind, and so this, the tip of this is really fine. So I can definitely see this being a very good knife for, say, opening boxes, cutting stuff like that. You're not the knife's not gonna, you know, come out of the cut like it would if it was a had a big belly on it. But anyway, like I said, CPM 154, stainless steel. Uh, this is a sub hundred dollar knife, so this would be considered, I guess you could say, considered a budget, a little bit on a higher end budget knife. But it would definitely be one that I would. 100% recommend 
as far as the auto there's multiple autos out there kershaw has their own launch series which has i think last time i checked 12 different knives in the launch series uh you may have to correct me on that in the comments below i believe it's 12 anyway boker has some protect has a lot of them there's just you know it's almost every company has them you know uh, i know benchmade came out with the uh, osborne i believe it was the 940 osborne auto so there's there's a bunch of them out there something you can look into but um and a lot of companies also like i said offer these california legal ones if you're looking into something that you may be looking to carry for the laws regarding the autos or maybe you want something a little bit different size or a different style not different size different style but uh this one would be on my highly recommended list for auto and like i said it is my second auto so i can't recommend a ton of them because i haven't had a lot of experience with them but this one would definitely be right would be recommended by me if i had to recommend any sort of autos so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got some uh, hopefully got some questions answered maybe got some more info you weren't sure of but anyway uh let me know in the comments below what you thought and there'll be more videos coming out very soon of edc gear got some pocket organizers all kinds of stuff that i'm going to start filming i know it's been a little while since i put another video out i put one out last week but before then it was probably about two three weeks so i'm gonna start being a little bit more frequent with that but anyway hope everybody has a great night and as always we love y'all bye